Dude, let's see what this whole thing is about. The fudge. Mmm. I got some coffee. Yeah, baby. What's up? I think I need to mix some purple at some point. But I think I, I need to mix some, some paint. Maybe some of this. Kapow, baby! Yeah. Kapow. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? You guys are witnessing the world's greatest living artist. Here, let me let me bring you down here, baby. We're gonna be right here for a little bit. Just while I, I mix some a little bit of paint. Don't be like that. Don't be sad. Just for a little bit. Good morning, good morning, beautiful people of the Instagrams. This is your homeboy, Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. The mucho macho kid. Look at that. Take some of that. Some of that paint. Ooh la la, baby. Come see, come sa. What's happening, Chris? All right. We'll do that. I'm add a little bit of walnut oil. Get a little of this paper. This is what this is what I want. The, this this TP, you know. It's always for. It's always for a good cost. And then this is all we do, really. Look. Just gentle. You don't have to get all crazy about it. Just just gentle. A little bit more. Ooh la la. Just a little bit more because we're heading we're heading towards winter and the paint gets a little tends to get a little bit more difficult to, to manage the colder it is. Because it's oil, right? So what is, what happens with oil during when, when, when things are cold? It hardens, right? Oil hardens. When it's hot, it softens. Look at that. Look at that, je ne sais quoi. I'll we'll put it right there. Look at that. Dude, I've been on TikTok. I've been doing some video. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to become TikTok famous. TikTok famous. Maybe... Maybe even Instagram famous. What's happening? Love the smell of paint in the morning. Yeah. It is like eye candy. Hell yeah. Okay, what else do we need? What else do we need, baby? We need some... Uh... Kapow, baby! We need some of that. Okay? Your paint make yeah yeah TikTok's weird the, the, the whole the, the whole thing I mean all platforms are weird um sometimes it looks like you're moving up and then it's not that what what dictates whether a platform is gonna work for you or not is 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 a lot of people try to codify the platforms I I try not to do that because I really don't care uh, about that. So, so I do care about people following and, and liking, and what, but I don't care about codifying it because, because I've never codified anything, so I don't, I don't really care. Or decode, decodify, no? I never care, care about it. Uh, so, 
people usually say, oh, if you're going to put stuff on, on Instagram, it's got to be all, um, you know, similar color palette and, and, you know, you can't mix content and this and that. And to me, to me, all that is, is BS. Really what happens, the reason why I believe some people go viral and other people don't is different. There's different reasons. But the reason why a platform works, okay, and another one doesn't, it has it has very to very little to do with going viral. What's really happening is that the person's very consistent there. And and the the thing is that if you're consistent, it doesn't mean see this is it's the same thing as when I talk about like like painting or learning how to paint or auctioning work on eBay. Everybody runs to auction work on eBay. But if, if you don't have that much talent, it ain't gonna work for you. It's the same thing. No matter how consistent you are, it 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 it'll start working if you start learning the skill, right? And the, so the con, what the consistency does is the consistency keeps you there long enough until you learn the skill. It's the same thing on on TikTok or any of those places or Instagram. Um, you could be posting all the time. It doesn't mean people are gonna like it. What's happening is that you're learning what to post and how to post. Not not learning like what to post, like what other people are doing. No, you're learning how what you're learning to post what people uh, vibe with you. I don't know if that makes any sense. That's what you're doing. You know, this is why I say it's it's one of the worst things you can do as an artist to try to 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 do what someone else is doing, to paint what someone else is painting, because because you're not really catching what people like about you. You're not you're not catching that. And so it's the same thing. And if I went on TikTok and I copied what some what some other artist was doing in, you know, that had a lot of followers, it, it wouldn't work for me. It wouldn't work for me because because that artist crack that, you know, on TikTok or on Instagram, they crack that. So they go and they start posting pictures of them maybe talking about their art or the process or whatever with certain music, whether it's hip hop or whatever it is. And then they crack that for themselves. And so people, that little crack, people start going in there and they're like, man, I like what this artist is doing. But if another artist goes in there and tries to do the same thing, it's not going to crack it. This this is one of the hardest lessons I learned about marketing and and being in being in uh, in the market. One of the hardest lessons is just because it works for someone else, it does not mean it's going to work for you. It does not mean that. It means that you have to go figure out how to crack that. Chris says it makes sense. It totally does. But most 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 but most people most people don't do it that way. And so you'll see, you'll see if you go on TikTok, you'll see my videos. I never do anything like someone else is doing it. Like some other artist is doing it. I, 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 I run the opposite direction. I do the same thing here. My lives are, are freaking weird. They're just weird. People tell me that all the time. Uh, you know, I cuss too much. I cuss, <laughs> I cuss too much. I say the, I say random stuff. I talk about all kinds of things, but painting. Uh, just, it's, it's, it's me, right? I'm not trying to be someone else because if I try to be someone else, I know it's not going to work. Even if it looked like it worked, they're not following me for the right reason. They're following me because they think I look like someone else. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I don't know. It's like looking like, like Marlon Monroe and, and, you know, back in the fifties and you look like her and, and, and someone falls in love with you because you look like Marlon Monroe. You know, it's the wrong reason. You don't want that person around you because, oh my God, you look just like Marlon Monroe. It's like, no, dude, I think you want Marlon Monroe. You don't, you don't, you don't want me. You want Marlon Monroe and, and you're with me because you think I look like her kind of like that dude i have some of the weirdest examples my logic is weird that's a little bit of walnut oil by the way all part of your charm it has to be right and everybody has that it's just that people don't don't people don't explore it people get lazy and they start copying someone else they're like oh what what's working on tiktok and then they go do the same thing 
And it's because they're lazy. I see a lot of people going in and, and just, you know, just doing the lazy stuff on TikTok. The lazy work, right? The the lazy work is is when they start trying to 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 do what someone else is doing and just kind of kind of repeat it, repeating the same the same little formula. And in my experience, I've I'm not that old, but I lived long enough to figure that one out. In my experience, I realize that they follow you for the wrong reason. Those are not the people that are going to buy work from you. Those are not the people that are going to cheer you. Those are not, they're only there because you remind them of someone else. That's a problem. That's a problem. Look at that. You're, you're the cheaper version of someone else, right? Dude, I don't want to be the cheaper version of someone else. I want to be the most expensive version of me. Look at that. Boom. Let me clean this out a little bit. Oh, dude, it's it's getting cold in the morning. It's a, it's a little cool. It's getting cool in the morning. It's getting a little bit cool in the morning. Let me get a little bit of warm oil here. Clean it up a little bit. Look at that. Oh, la la. Let's clean this thing up. Good morning, people. Good morning. This is this is morning vibes with Jose Trujillo. Damn, dude. Keeps falling on me. This is a morning vibes right here. Let's see. Uh, best kept secret on the net. No, for real. This is the best kept secret on the net. You you go watch anyone, anyone that's that's doing something like everyone else. Uh, even if they have followers or whatnot. There's there's a sense of there's a sense of uh, uh, there's like a weird thing happening. It's a it's an it's a it's a constant imitation. And and early on, I, I caught that in my career. And, and the reason I caught that is because my, my my mom was was very was very uh, business savvy. My mom had a, a open a couple of couple of restaurants before and, and she's very business savvy and she used to tell me that she used to tell me you can't you can't do what someone else is doing because uh because you don't you don't know why it's working for someone else you don't know that you you imagine that it's working for someone else because of a b and c but you don't know that you're not you're not sure of that and so the best thing you can do is is go your own way even if it looks like it's going slower, go your own way. Because the people that do come along with you, they're 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 there really for you. I was like, damn, so true, so true, Mother Waterloop. Look at this. And it's also what causes envies in the marketplace when people are like, you know, are like, oh man, that's working for them. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that. And why is it not working for me if I'm doing the same thing that other person is doing? Or why is it not working for me the same way? It's like, I don't know, dude. Maybe you don't have the charm. I don't know. Maybe you ugly. I don't know. <laughs> <You're ugly. laughs> I have no idea what it is. Okay. It just it doesn't work the same for everybody. I have no idea. This is one of the one of the best things I, I learned, and I learned it early on. But then then again, later on, I read this book called uh, Blue Ocean Strategy, and it reaffirmed. It's a marketing book. It reaffirmed. Uh, it reaffirmed that. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's paint something. We're going to go and paint something. We're going to do something, a little something, you guys. 
so glad I turned into this video love to watch mixing paint thank you so much thank you so much Dude, you guys are awesome thank you I feel all loved love me you guys love me I feel all loved Qué bonito color. Muchas gracias, Jessica. ¿Qué estás haciendo tan temprano? Dude, this girl wakes up early. The whole gang's here. The whole gang is here. All right, let's do something. I, I gotta do a little painting because if I don't do a painting, I'm gonna start feeling shed. All right, here we go. Boom, baby. Been working on this uh, on this uh, 12 by 16s for a little while. Make me happy. Here we go. So we're gonna start out with a little with a little uh, a little landscape, okay? Because because why not? Because I can. If you can, you must. And so check it out. Look at that. Boom. Just a few little lines. Nothing nothing too complicated. Man, it's cold. It's cold in the morning. I don't know why I turned that air on. I felt I felt warm, and then and then I took my sweater off, and then I turned that that air that that cooler on. Now it's cold. It's getting cold on me. But yeah, guys, it's 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 really a it's an amazing thing when you start figuring uh, figuring you out. It takes it takes a while. It takes a while, but but you know. You start figuring some stuff out. But uh, but it's nice. It's nice when you figure you out. At least that's what I think so. Look at that. Ooh, baby, a moon. I'm gonna get the moon for you. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that moon for you and stuff. Let's see, what is it? You need to you need to dance to warm up, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get that moon for you, baby. Did I I, I, I had this I had this uh this this older lady, I, I keep telling you guys this story. I had this older lady and on on uh where was on on YouTube? Uh, she's like, "Why do you keep calling me baby?" <laughs> so, because every other word is like, "Okay, baby, let's do this." So she she puts a, a message there. Why do you keep calling me baby? I feel like you're calling me baby. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was hilarious though. Look at that. Jose the dancing artist could become I I feel like I have to do something something ridiculous on TikTok to 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 make it work. I'm going to I'm going to come out on TikTok with like I don't know, just wearing wearing a uh, underwear and and cowboy boots and dance around in a cowboy a big cowboy hat. Showing off my dad bud. My dad bud. Did I don't want to scare people. But it'd be hilarious. For for a few of us it would be hilarious. Look at that. Ooh la la, baby. Je ne sais quoi with comme ci, comme ça. All up in here. Look at that. So, so the, the, the red and, the, and the, the, the green, of course, you guys know it's a match made in heaven. Uh, those of you who don't know, then I don't know why you're painting if you haven't taken like a, like a color theory class or something. <laughs> For those of you who don't know that. Um, but yeah, it's a match made in heaven. It's it's uh, it, it's just you know it just works. It just works. 
Let's see, Claudia says on TikTok, uh, they have people who look through feeds and pick who they are going to make go viral. Uh, happened to a friend of mine, went from 74 to 56,000 overnight. Wow. Yeah, no, this, this, happened to, this happened to me for a little bit. So I was like, a, I don't know, a thousand followers. And and I made a I made a I made a a, a a video of what was it? I made a video of um, squeezing paint, and it went bananas. I mean, I started getting I started getting over a million uh, views, right? And overnight, it also it also shot me to like thirty thousand followers. It looked like overnight, but it, it happened more like over a week. But uh, but it happened right away. And then I, I tried to do another video, but it, it didn't work anymore. I mean, this this goes this goes again with with that reality, right? Of of oh, Jose is painting a landscape with a moon. I'm gonna go paint a landscape with a moon, and then it doesn't work for you, <laughs> or it doesn't work for me when I do it a second time, right? And and, and the reason why. It's because people already saw it. People already saw it. The, 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 the small group of people that follow you, they already saw it. And so, so they, they don't, they don't want to go, they don't want to go get it again. And they certainly don't want to go get a cheaper version of it somewhere else. They don't want to go get it again. And so I've, I've noticed this since I started uh, painting. I would paint something and then it would sell for something that I have never done before, right? Or something that it just clicked with people. Maybe I'd done it before, but I did it in a different way, and it just clicked with people. And all of a sudden, the the auction went from like a dollar to a thousand dollars. This has happened to me many, many times throughout my career, and, and selling on eBay specifically. Um, and then I'm I'm like, oh my god, what if I paint another one? And then I paint on another one, and the auction would go to forty dollars. Right? Nobody wanted it. And and. Uh, how does it go one time to a thousand dollars and then the next time I paint it it goes to only forty dollars? And here's the worst part. And then someone else someone else copies the painting, right? Because I got enough of that already. Someone else copies the painting and uh and you know tries to copy the painting, the style and whatnot, and and then they put it and their and their painting goes for twenty dollars. How how does that happen? It's a weird thing. The marketplace is a weird thing. I've been paying attention for a while. It's a weird thing. It's a, it's a weird place. And I think TikTok is no different. Because the, the algorithm is only showing stuff to, to, to certain people. Right? And so... So when I, when I did that video of paint, uh, squeezing paint, I got over a million views. Uh, I tried doing another, another one. And it was like, <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. And then I did another one, and then and then it went somewhere. But I did it slightly different, right? And so, I, I think that, that what happens is that is that people already saw it, and if it's not new to them, they don't really care. They don't really care anymore. I think that's what happens. There's it goes back to this idea, of what I, I call newness. Um, that I, I've been piecing together for a while. Uh, I mean, I didn't come up with it. It's just, it's an observation, right? Other people have seen that as well, not just me. Uh, but I, I call it newness. The reason why people in certain industries or certain places or platforms, the reason why people uh, will go and buy is because they love something that is fresh, something that is new. But the reason why we go to the movies it's not because we're going to go see a great movie. It's because we're going to go see a, a new movie, right? Something we haven't seen before. And although it might be the same story, it might be another another story of, I don't know, you name it, right? Um, um, a, horror, a horror movie or, 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 or a, a movie about, I don't know, uh, comic figures or whatever, uh, comic heroes. Is it comics here? I don't know. Whatever they're called. It's the same thing. 
Did you watch at least watch it to support? Yeah, my son's always like liking my videos on TikTok too. I think it's just the weirdest thing. But yeah, it was funny. At the very least. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna do something fun. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> oh man. It's hilarious though. It's hilarious. Trying to trying to put videos online and that kind of stuff. It's it's funny. It, it's uh it, it'll mess up your productivity though if you're not careful. If if if, if you're not if you're not uh, if you haven't learned your lessons, you'll you'll uh you'll uh you'll mess your whole day doing that. Or or hours. And so th there is a way of doing it, but but you know, it, it takes experience. It takes experience. And what I'm saying is there is a way of doing things without taking all your all your attention, all your time. Because uh, well, time is kind of valuable. Look at that. Ooh la la. It's got to be fun. Yeah, it's got more than anything. It's got to be fun. It, it can't. It can't be like, oh, I gotta go on TikTok. It, it can't be that. It can't be like, oh, I gotta, I gotta post stuff on Instagram. It can't, if it's that, you're not going to want to do it. I think. I was listening to Gary V and, and I'm, I'm tempted of doing something that he mentioned. Um, he mentioned about hiring a small army of people to help, uh, to help uh, uh, with the marketing. And uh, I've already contacted a company that does that. Uh, you know, so basically what they do is that they, they, they go around the world looking for, 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 uh, for, for people that are, you know, that are working on that and, and looking for the, the best price to help you with that. It is, it is a global economy and and although uh, a lot of us are, are either for it or against it, it, it is what it is right now. You know, it is what it is. Look at that. And so yeah, I was listening to that, and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna go and, and and look at this, see what this whole thing is about. At the end of the day, I'm the one who has to be there, right? I'm the one who has to answer. I'm the one who has to talk to people. No one else can talk to people but me. But I'm talking about reaching out. Reaching out. Then when people reach back, they're reaching out to me. Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm all about being industrious. It's kind of my gig, if you haven't noticed by now. We are fully global now. We are. It is. It's a... Uh... Uh, the, the thing is that those marketing companies are like... It's not cheap, right? It's extremely... Well, it depends, right? It costs a lot, but it depends on the value. If you if you feel like it's valuable, then it's not a lot. If you don't see the value, then it is a lot. Uh, any any base number and and any of those companies that are doing that that are helping with. And I'm not talking about TikTok. I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, on TikTok. We, I, I think the best thing to do right now is to do organic only because it's it's a, it's such a fresh platform that organic has a higher reach. And, and even that, I see that it's going away. I didn't, I didn't catch that. I could have caught it. I could have catched it, but I didn't catch it. I could have catched that, that, that momentum, I think. 
but I didn't. I, I was there since it was uh, musically, so I could have totally caught catch that. But I I was too busy doing other stuff that I was like I I can't spend time on on this TikTok thing right now. But um, but yeah, any any base any base price of of those companies are are anywhere between you know. I don't know, five thousand bucks a month or and more, right? It's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's, it's an investment, but I th I think if 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 you're a, if you're a serious player, uh, it's something to consider. Right? If you want to, if you're going in there for for the long haul, right? Uh, but it, it all depends also where you are in your in your uh, in your career. One of the best one of the best things I've done in my career is 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 uh is me simply me doing doing more putting more hours putting more but you know but after a while that's not the that's not the secret formula anymore in the beginning it is but after a while it's not because because the, the first thing that happens is you start running you start running out of hours so it doesn't matter how much you paint or how much you you market you start running out of that right away but in the beginning it is the formula because because you probably never tapped into that before. Right? I know I didn't as an artist. I've never tapped into into uh, uh, painting as if as if uh, as if it was a full time job. Look at that! Look at that painting! My God, this is good. If you guys have any questions, please by 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 all means put them there. That's what I'm here for. Have you market hard into Latin country? No, I'm I'm barely looking into that. I I have a couple of gallerists who uh, we're gonna be working with. In um, we're gonna start in Mexico. We're gonna be working in Mexico and Mexico City, uh, Guadalajara, uh, Monterrey, and where else was it? Somewhere in the north, I don't know where the where the resorts are and whatnot in the north, uh, uh, where Cabo is, and I think it's Cabo, all those places. Loving this one, thank you so much. So we're gonna start with that, but um, I'm so used to saying the word "but," and and I'm trying to get rid of "but." It's a negative, uh, and and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, move with someone else. Another gallerist that is uh, in uh, in uh, Brazil. In Brazil, I think there's a huge market in Brazil, untapped for a, a lot of uh, artists. And, and the reason why it's because the cross market is always juicy for people, right? Like, like if you're a gallerist, you want to say, "I brought this artist from from the U.S." If you're in another country. Uh, you might not. Who knows, right? Some people don't like the U.S. Uh, but you know, you might want to say that uh, if you are a are an artist in uh, in if you're a gallerist in in I don't know England, London somewhere, uh, it'd be pretty cool to be like I brought this artist or this art from Chile, you know, or or from. Uh, from uh, uh, Japan or China or you know I brought this artist from from way over there let's see what's happening Diana yeah I would totally go over there just kick it uh, just kick it for a while you know see what's up see what awaits me Look at that. Dude, I'm so good. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. I can see Brazil being a, a great success for you. I think so. I think so. I hope so, anyways, right? It's kind of like what soccer players do or, or athletes, right? Other athletes. But soccer, because soccer is played worldwide, it's not like... It's not just like basketball or like or like football. Uh, soccer, you can play 
in every corner of the world. Uh, it's a big thing. It's not you can just play, but it's a big thing in every corner of the world. Probably the only place it's not a big thing, it's in the U.S. Um, but soccer is pretty big just about anywhere else. And so soccer players do that, right? They, they move them. They're like, they're like, I was at Manchester, Manchester. And now I'm playing for, I don't know, you know, somewhere in, in uh, Argentina or whatever. And vice versa. And so I think, I think, uh, I don't think I know artists, artists do that. I, I, I know a couple of artists also that, that uh, went to Canada from South America. Huge success, huge success. A um, couple of artists from uh, Colombia and in, in, in Canada made a, made a huge success over there. And I'm like, dude, I, I need some of that, man. I need some of that, some of that uh, global globalization success globalization <laughs> i don't know what we call it yeah is, is that what it is Glo globalization i don't know i need some of that hey baby i mean i need some of that success I'm just saying, you guys. Look at that. Ooh la la. Ooh, ooh, ooh la la. Oh, baby, my baby brought... Dude, my baby's so good. She brought breakfast. I also put gas. You also put gas in the car? Huh? You also put gas in the car? I had to stop. I had to stop at the bank. Damn. Hey, um, I, I have to. Some wife material right there. To run over there. But when I'm done, do you think we could go get allergy medicine? Because my oh, yeah. hurt. Yeah. And. Baby, I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Go do your thing. Look at that. Ooh la la. Here's one mean painting. But yeah, you know, there's there's different places that you can, you know, that you can uh, find different, there's different pockets that are not. Yeah, the problem is when everybody starts finding out about those pockets, then then, but but the 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 good thing also is that that uh, if you're first or if you or if you dominate the area, whatever dominating is, I know it's such a it's such a weird word, right? Um, but you know, I'm sorry, it, it is capitalism, so it, it's just the word the word you're either first in the market or you dominate the market you're 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 you're, you're gonna be all right it is it, it is the way we're playing right now right it is the way we're playing right now the the best uh and this is not because there isn't enough to go around that's not true i, I don't i don't believe that for a single second uh the reason for the for, for dominating is because things get old very fast not because there isn't enough. Because things get old very fast, so now you have to go find another pocket. Or you have to carve your, your way into it in a, in a different, you know, yourself in a different way. Uh, it's kind of like what I talk about on, 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 on eBay. When I first got in there, no one was doing what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing. Now there's like hundreds of artists doing that. Maybe even, maybe even a thousand or more. I, I don't know. I don't pay attention. I, I used to pay attention. Uh... But uh, but I realized what I had to do. I, I had to carve my my myself into. I had to carve myself a, a different right, a different way. And so. And so that's the. That's what it is, right? I often joke around with artists, and I say, imagine if you're the only, 
Imagine if you're the only artist on, on Etsy. Imagine they don't let any other artists on Etsy. You're the only one. You, you'd have, you would have a monopoly on that. You know, imagine if you were the uh, only oil painter. Let's not even say the only artist, the only oil painter on, on Etsy or on eBay or on, you know, a certain marketplace or whatever. Well, that, that's really what it means when you're very unique. It doesn't mean you're the only one, but you're the only one who does that. And so you carve yourself, you carve yourself a niche in the market. This is extremely important. I, I believe it's extremely important for any artist who's, who's, who's looking to, to uh, be serious with their career. It's extremely important to carve out a niche, whatever that niche is. You know, it's extremely important and, and, and to follow, follow through with it, right? Not just um, what a, what a lot of artists do, and, and I understand because because I, I remember when I started, I understand um, what a lot of artists do is that they they go and they're like, what's what's working, what's selling, and then they go and try to do that, and then they're doing that, and then they they keep they keep being dilettantes everywhere. They're like, what's what's working over there? Oh, I got I got to go do that. What? Charcoals, charcoal on paper. I gotta go do that until so they're looking at what's working, what's working, and they, they're looking at. It's kind of like a like a. It's like if you go to a restaurant, right, and and they tell you that 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 um. I don't know. You're going to go eat, and and the menu is one day is whatever's in trend, and then the next day is whatever's in trend. And then then the menu, the, the, it doesn't mean that it couldn't work. I'm not saying it couldn't work, um, but the, the 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 place is never true, right? It's 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 like a, it kind of reminds me of like gas station stores, you know? You go in there and they sell you a little bit of everything that that uh, that you need for for the road, kind of like those 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 pit stops, those those or those road uh, those highway stores. You get there and you know you find the the, the, the phone covers and and then you find the the, you know the, the Doritos and and you know slushies and they also sell pillows and and the books and and you know all, all kinds of things and and you're never really known for for something you're never really known for something <laughs> my parents is painting with possibilities I love that and so you're never really onto something. You know, it's like it's like you you go into a place to to get a I don't know a massage right or or a chiropractor or whatever, and then they're like, and we can also sell you insurance in here. <laughs> it's like it's like why are you selling insurance? Oh, because insurance sells, it works. Yeah, but this is a this is a chiropractor's uh, uh, office. Uh, yeah, but but you know. We can also sell you some 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 breakfast and and you can get a, a, a some lunch also and and coffee. We also sell coffee. We have Starbucks coffee. You know, you get it. That's that's how I I feel. Some artists do it. You know, they're like man, and and then I can do some NFTs and then I can. <laughs> it's like this this whole thing, you know, like like and and never really get to 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 go deep into something so anyways I hope you guys get it look at that ooh la la ooh la la look at that boom so yeah while, while those that that approach may work for for a a I don't know a, a circle K or what do they call those uh, a 7-Eleven it might work for a 7-Eleven it, it, it might not work for art. Spread, spread themselves too thin. Yeah, and not yeah, spread themselves too thin, but also also never really get to get to sell the thing that you're about. You know, you never really get to sell the thing that you're about. Uh, al always selling something else because because it sells because you saw someone selling it. Claudia says, love it. Thank you so much. Rather than specialize, specializing is always the long game. 
Always. Always. It's it's what makes the difference between going to a doctor, the general care, you know, you go to a doctor, checks you. It's the difference between that and going into a doctor that specializes in arteries or specializes in, you know, just does only does heart surgery or only does, you know, uh, works with the brain or this or whatever it is, right? That's the difference. No quality work, exactly. There's no quality work because because people are all over the place. And I remember doing that when I started and I had to like, you know, I have to pull myself in and say, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, because in the beginning, in the beginning, I think we're looking for opportunity, which is very important to survive. But, uh, but then you start realizing if you want to play the long game, you have to have something of quality, something real, something unique. And, 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 and you have to specialize, you know, rather than me being the artist who just creates paintings, uh, I don't just want to be another artist. I, I want to be Jose Trujillo, right? And, and people that know that name, they're like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. Uh, I, don't, I don't just want to be another artist. I don't just want to, I don't just want to be a painter. Uh, a person can't be good at it. Can't be good at everything. No, not, not only that. Yeah, you can't be good at, at everything. And, 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 and it's not sustainable either. Even if you are good at everything. There's, there's artists that are like, but you don't understand, Jose. I can do everything. I'm like, no, yeah, dude, I, I get you. But, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable and it's probably not scalable either. If at some point you... You want to take this into the into the long run. It's not scalable, you know. It just isn't. I, I, again, I, I'd rather be the, the the heart surgeon that specializes in I don't know specific arteries or whatever than be the general doctor if I was going to go into that field. Because then then I carve myself into the market in a way that 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 uh, um, puts me in a power position where I can you know. Where I can really serve in in a in a quality way. It doesn't mean that other doctors are not serving in a quality. Of course they are, but but the more you niche, right? The more you niche, the more the more the more because you go deeper into that work. The more quality you can you can provide, even if it's a, a uh, what appears to be a smaller part of the pie. Um. Uh, so yeah. So there it is, my friends. Can you do it all well? Not so much. Yeah, no. You, you, I, I think people can do a lot of stuff very good, but, but again, right? Um, I don't want to. If I open a dealership, I don't want to sell all kinds of cars. I'd rather be the the the, the Tesla dealership, or I'd rather be the the you know. It doesn't matter what it is. I'd just I I pick one, right? And I'd be that. And I'd be that sage advice. I love that. You know, I, I, it doesn't matter whether it's a Kia or or I'm selling Teslas or I'm selling, uh, um, I don't know, Bentleys. But but pick one and go deep, as opposed to I I sell you anything. I'll, you go go to a dealership, a car dealership, and they're even you, you say you know what I didn't really want a car, I wanted a truck. Oh, I got that for you. Uh, yeah, but I wanted a truck that. I wanted a Toyota, not a, not a... Yeah, I got that. You know what? I changed my mind. I actually wanted a horse. Oh, oh, I got that for you. Don't walk away. Hold on. Let me go get that horse. You, you don't want to be that guy. It's okay when you're starting out, but you don't want to be that guy at the end of the, at the, end of the game. Right? You, you, you can be that guy in a different way. You can be like, oh, I, 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 let me send you to a friend who, 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 who sells trucks. Or let me send you to a friend who sells horses. That's how you can be that guy. Look at that. Boom. There it is, my friends. Uh, to be good at everything is not to be good at anything. Yeah, absolutely. So there it is, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I'm going to have some breakfast. And then I'm going to go get some some of that Zyrtec stuff. Zyrtec D. I can only walk in and get it because it's, it's not over the counter. So, so um, I can't order it. I can't order it through uh, through 
through uh, DoorDash. <laughs> I, do, I order everything to, through DoorDash. It's hilarious. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone. Hey, take care, guys. All right. Peace out, everyone.